us move on to the fact that everything can't be good, right? I mean, there had to be some flops of the year, right? So any flops that come to mind, it could again be technology, it could be apps, it could be a device. I'll start with you. I think there's lots, but if you go wider than the phone kind of consumer tech, I think electric vehicles have been a bit of a disappointment in the sense that I thought in this decade we'd really take off with electric vehicles, but what we've seen really take off in EVs have been these little rickety rickshaws. Okay. Now, I won't, uh, you know, put that down or mock those, but the fact is, uh, you know, they're not, re they're not really solving the problem of uh, EVs in terms of the carbon footprint and things like that. You know, electricity is being tapped off all kinds of places. Our fuel is all fossil fuel, which is powering this electric stuff. So, we actually have lakhs, you know, hundreds of thousands of those EVs. Uh, I hope to see going forward in the next two years proper EVs and hybrids. Uh, and a regulatory framework and a supporting charging uh, framework which supports that. Uh, that is the one revolution we, I think, have missed and we have fallen about five or ten years behind China. Really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? So, no. you know, at a time when we are all talking about 5G, you know, I still can't make a phone call and, 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 and call me on WhatsApp has become almost like my caller tune. <laughs> so I'm not sure like, you know, we should be talking about 5G now when we just can't fix a straightforward voice call. So I think connectivity in India is a big, big fail for me. All right. We also have this incredible list of tech flops. Take a look. Apart from Instagram crashing, WhatsApp hanging and all our hearts stopping, there were a lot of major tech flops in 2019. WhatsApp spyware attack made headlines for quite a while this year. The spyware also allowed hackers to send malicious data packets to users and listen in on all their calls and even read the messages. There was also some tech that we didn't get to see at all and others that were sheer disappointments. Apple cancelled its much-awaited Air Power, which was supposed to be a wireless charging mat. Google's big cloud gaming service is still in beta stage. This is Google Stadia and while it was launched by the company, it is not as exciting as what everyone expected it to be. And of course, the most recent tech fail was when Tesla's Elon Musk threw a sledgehammer at the Cybertruck launch. The armor glass that it is made of smashed.